What up, what up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. Justin Jack Bear here from Wealth Frequency. I'm talking about the Internet Computer Protocol. Why? Because innovation always wins. I realize that I said innovation always matters a couple times, but it does. It does matter. Making a video up here from the Rocky Mountains. And when I'm not making content, when I'm not developing, when I'm not building the world computer, I'm out in nature, getting exercise, eating healthy, keeping the mind good, keeping the soul good, hitting the outdoor rink, putting up a little YouTube video of being on the rink here and just being outdoors and enjoying life. Everybody's out skiing and snowboarding here, but I got a bit of a bad knee on my right, so not able to down downhill impact, take the downhill impact. So we're up here in bear country, big bear country, jack bear country, and uh, just been working on a couple apps I'm going to launch. Um, super excited actually really excited I'm gonna send a little teaser on X about what's about to come out and it's an app that you can go and interact with and learn from about web3 the industry blockchain metrics charts real-time data very very cool stuff came up with the idea the other day um, yeah so just waiting for that power went out actually last night so wasn't able to finish any of the work that's okay it's good to disconnect you know what happens if the world loses its power well it's funny we're talking about the demand for power and computation is exceeding the current infrastructure capacity and uh, I was sharing with some of my friends' relatives asking me what I, what I do for a living. And uh, really working on my conversation on to describe the world computer. And, uh, you know, we get done talking and, and all of a sudden the power goes out. The irony of the conversation, exactly what we're talking about. And I said, oh, sh shit, must be Bitcoin knocked out the power again but well, that's the reality here and we're in canada we got cheap electricity we got cheap power but around the world it's not as cheap infrastructure costs a lot of money especially in developing countries and just the current demand for computation in bitcoin and gpt computers and cloud service hi is there a sidewalk on the left side All right, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, so the crews here are working on the on the power right now. And uh, telecommunications is up, but Wi-Fi is down. So you can still access the internet through, through cell phone towers. Cell phone towers are redistributing limited capacity of internet data but you still access everything normally as if nothing happened it's gonna get a little loud here for a minute So talk about infrastructure and the time and money that goes into building infrastructure, like millions of global computation independent encrypted nodes to host the internet and canisters. Thank you.
lots of cost for infrastructure, big time cost for infrastructure. So when you're rolling out something like the internet computer protocol, the world computer, the cost of building that infrastructure, basically being the first to market to innovate like Definity Foundation has done, it costs billions of dollars to scale that globally. And that's what the little retail investors don't understand. That's what consumers don't understand, general public, people who don't do the research, is that it costs billions of dollars to do that. Amazon did the same thing with cloud servers. Before cloud existed, Amazon had to create it. They built the demand for cloud internet. They spent billions and billions of dollars. Their stock was basically used to finance the global infrastructure that holds 80% of the world's internet now. So yeah, Definity Foundation has been using investment money to roll out the global scale and infrastructure. It's totally a normal thing because they're building the new tamper-proof internet. The same people are whining about the same things because they still don't understand. They still don't take the time to understand how global infrastructure works. It takes time and it takes a lot of money. And nothing's gonna stop it. Nothing's gonna slow it down. It's not the price of the token that drives the market. It's the infrastructure that can contain it. It's the infrastructure that can support Web3, general AI, global digital economy, and everything Web3, everything internet. So here's some horses here. Hey. Everybody's into the, the festivities. So really, um, there's a lot of noise when it comes to Web3, blockchain, a lot of smoke and mirrors. And it's gonna take more time, it's gonna take more, more money, that's the bottom line. In order to secure the global decentralized world computer globally. So for me, it's super exciting. You know, you buy your $5 a day worth of ICP and buy it every day, set up an account, pay the monthly unlimited transaction and just purchase $5 a day or whatever you can afford, $1 a day, $2 a day, every day for the next five years. And the price will eventually go up. So this is a, this is a Goldilocks zone, absolutely gem of a position to be buying Internet Computer Protocol, ICP. Now, when all these ICP live on exchanges, live on exchanges, people have purchased ICP and lives on exchanges, that total can make it seem like there's a lot of ICP tokens on the exchanges. And there's not really that much considering how much is locked up indefinitely. Um, you know, 40, 44, 45% of all ICP tokens. And these ICP tokens are burned to burned to create computation, burned to run the internet infrastructure, um, apps, games, finance, everything Web3. So once General AI starts to release and we start to see alpha, versions of apps over the next 12 months i'm saying that we're not going to see much price action although it won't be able to we won't be able to anticipate it that by the end of next year so much is going to be developed and so much is going to be a, is going to have been done and created and built with the most developers around the world more than any other blockchain in the world working with the self-writing internet caffeine.ai scaling ideas apps, websites, backends, backend integrations, games. By the end of next year, we're gonna be in good shape. And so price is not the indicator of development or infrastructure progress or success. 
we're just in the beta phase. Beta can last a year. Caffeine.ai came out in October. So once a company or an organization, um, nonprofit releases a platform like Caffeine.ai, which is a consumer tool program, the self-writing internet, with all of its capabilities and features, it's gonna take a year to scale to understand the effects it's going to have on the infrastructure infrastructure and the tokenization and system. And they haven't even released the subscriptions yet for consumers to have to pay for the use of caffeine.ai uh, monthly. So now that's a revenue stream that may probably go directly to Definity Foundation, which which they should have a way to make money for their foundation. <clears throat> They're a non-for-profit, so even if that money gets used for Definity Foundation as an organization, who cares? I mean, the amount of computation that's going to burn up all the ICP on exchanges that have not been minted is going to create a supply crunch, a squeeze, at some point, um, it's just gonna drive the price of the token up. So I think 12 months from now, we're gonna be looking good. I think a lot, is, a lot is gonna happen over the next 12 months while we're still in beta. Everybody needs to make money. You have a dedicated team and people who are working to make this the best revolutionary technology possible. Now, some would think, well, the odds are stacked against them. Really, it just is time and money, uh, more so time. They put in so much time and money and effort and infrastructure now already that's scaling, that's being used, that other tech, tech companies and legacy companies, they just wouldn't have the time or the billions of dollars to develop what Definity Foundation has done over the last four years and next year Definitely turns five years old. And most businesses fail before it even gets to five years. They usually fail in the first two, three, four years. But uh, failure is not an option. This is happening. It's happening right now. Whether you want to believe it or not, whether you see it or not, whether the price moves or not. So now is the greatest time in history to be investing in the future of technology. I'm a part of some global projects that are just unbelievable. They would just blow your mind, almost more mind blown than than Internet Computer Protocol, um, and easier to understand. But it's I, I can't disclose some of the projects I'm on. Maybe at a later time. But just know that there is world changing technology that's being implement implemented and used to increase efficiency and improve improve costs. So, so anybody who can develop a system or an app or a tool that can reduce the cost of computation or reduce the cost of power so that the world's demand can be met. You know, if someone said, hey, um, you know, let's put a data center in your name. You know, let's give you the money and, and give you a data center. And you're gonna, you're gonna make, you know, it's gonna cost you $10 for a data center, but you're gonna make, you know, $100 off of the, off of the um, service provide for compute, for storage, for cloud. And nine times out of 10, you're gonna invest in that data center for you to make money. The cost is 10. The return is 90 and then it just it just grows from there so the initial cost for infrastructure generally is a fixed price a fixed price that can be um, anticipated and then from there the global infrastructure can sustain one at a time another cloud service or another decentralized encrypted canister on an encrypted cloud node. 
blank internet computer, the world computer. So you just have to disconnect from the addiction of scrolling, change your mindset of your negativity, go and build something else while your investment matures. If you don't plan on being constructive or becoming a developer or being a part of a team um, for the digital economy, for the world computer, then go and do something else. Go get a second job. Why are you commenting so much, making so much FUD when you could be using that time to make more money to continue investing in whatever it is that you want to invest? That's just a general rule of thumb. It doesn't have to be internet computer protocol if you hate it so much. But while you complain about what's going on in the world, while you complain about everybody else's problems, while you complain about, complain about, complain about, the rest of the world is sleeping while we're building. Some people will get it, some people won't. That's just the natural natural law of I don't know know what that what that law is, but anyway, I'm on the hunt for coffee. Then I'm going for a skate at the outdoor rink. And I'll post up a video about uh yeah. Just what you need to do to disconnect. Keep your mind free of the entrapment of your cell phone, doom scrolling. Um, you know, wasting energy and characters to comment on things that are not relevant. So, thank you all for the subs. We reached a thousand. We're a thousand plus on YouTube, the Well Frequency channel with Justin Jack Bear, coming to you from the Rocky Mountains. And thank you all for the shares, likes, comments. Uh, try to reply to as many people as possible who are positive, who are encouraging, who are building. I'm open for one-on-one -on -one calls, cons consultations. Go to jackbear.ai. You can check out all my services there. If you've got a project that you want me to promote on YouTube, I can do some plugs. Um, so go and check it out. I can do paid promotions for you. Getting a lot of, uh, a lot of views, a lot of the audience attention. Uh, reaching a lot of eyeballs. I've had several uh, several finance in institutions contact me, wanting me to be a part of their application platforms to work on commission for referrals. I do not work on commission or referrals for any platforms. I just don't have the capacity to do it. Um, I have my own strategy for investment, and uh, but certainly I am absolutely 100% willing to do paid promos for any crypto exchanges, um, for any finance institutions, for any type of brand, product, or business, uh, individual or company, organization, as a disclaimer of paid promotion, not necessarily myself using those products, but but I will take your money. So, um, yeah, contact me. I love to partner. I love to learn new things. love to see what's out there. It's good to get access to information so people do have options in what they're doing. They do have options and understanding of what the world is building. Um, you know, to learn from communities and organizations that may or may not be in, in alignment with you and your values. But that's for you to decide. So, but anyway, until the next video. Stay groovy. I'll have to put some footage out, some B-roll of, uh, of the mountains here. Absolutely gorgeous this time of year.